We're going to begin with the first of the bronze medal matches in the under 63 kilo category. And this features Ljubljana Piovasana of Great Britain. She's up against Katarina Hecker of Australia. It'll be Piovasana in white and Hecker in blue. The referee in the middle for this one is Yevgeny Raklin of Russia. And with commentary on this and all the medal matches, it's a very warm welcome to former world champion Loretta Kusak Doyle. Thanks very much, Sheldon. And yes, we're going to be starting off with a very exciting bronze medal match very shortly. As you can see, the crowd is building up in this stadium. And what a knowledgeable crowd it is. And there you have, just in our screen there, Hecker from Australia. 25 years of age. Oceana champion last year and a silver medalist in Agadir a few weeks back. Sorry, that in 2016. Well, Vazana from Great Britain in white. Junior world bronze medalist. Making her come back after six months out through injury. Finds herself now battling away here for a bronze medal in Tbilisi. Becker picked up a Shido there. I can only imagine it was for stepping out. Yes. Well, as you can see, she sidesteps to the edge of the contest area every time. It seems to be a little bit of a habit for Heka. And um, rather than that rotation, she just sidesteps and continues to go off to the side and just has no awareness of the edge of the contest area. I've seen a few times in previous matches where she has done this. You can see once more that couple of steps. Yeah, and then, and then there's no room for error. Dennis Stewart is the big man in the chair for Ljubljana Piovasana. Filling out the chair. <laughs> well, Piovasana just trying to control that right sleeve. She knows that's a real danger for her if it comes over the top of the head. She takes it with her with a sodu, drops underneath, comes right through. Sadly, just needed a little bit more rotation to make it more effective. She's not contest sharp. There are a couple of things that I've seen today where, as Loretta was hinting at, you know, six months ago, she would have been able to make something of that. But it, it's just, you know, not contest ready, I don't think. Well, she's shown great determination out here on her journey to this bronze medal contest. See, she snapped at the, the, the coach, you know, it was a little yes. bit different, yeah. you know. So maybe even within a contest, she, she's going to begin to sharpen up. Just, I suppose boxers would call it ring rusty. Yeah. Just a little bit ring rusty. Just a contest. It's sensing, yeah. you know, what's going to happen next. And, and it's a massive difference from training in the club or the yeah. centre, um, doing your randori to actually getting into a contest mode. And um, this is where she's obviously been six months out of that sort of... Not surprising, then. ...competitive yeah. sort of stage. And then there was a contest earlier on where she missed out on a Kamisho Gatami. Oh, yes. Was, the reactions were a yeah. little bit slow. Yeah, that's all. Let's not be too harsh. Oh, no one, me, anyway. Uh, try and um, not be too harsh. Hecker's picked up a second penalty, by the way. And again, as Loretta was talking about, she's found herself at the mat edge, wandering off. It's like a magnet. She's drawn to the mat edge. Well, Piovasana really is taking full advantage of the opportunity of being able to participate here in this um, tournament, this Grand Prix. with uh, Alice Slezina out of the event. It gives uh, this young lady an opportunity to prove herself, and she's proved to be very much a contender at this weight category. Rosanna just being first on that grip, hips coming through. 
attacker, the high collar grip that um, Jovazana was trying to control, starting to let that right hand wander over the top. As you can see there, comes round the back, controlling Jovazana nicely there. She hit, comes through with the hips, but there's the lift. Oh, she just lost a little bit of control there, went up in the air and just couldn't plant her. It's been relatively quiet, the crowd, in this contest. There's no Georgian interest here. And with the greatest of respect to the men in the audience, because it's predominantly male in here, you know, they're, they're sitting back. It's a women's contest. That caught their eye, though. Yeah, look at the power, <laughs> the core strength of this young lady. Just took her in the wrong direction. She could have really just taken her to the back. Um, whether she would have maintained and got a spin on it at the end is another thing. But uh, she just shows you how powerful. Well, if she'd, if she'd come up with a completion for that throw, I think the, the crowd would have been... They would have erupted Yeah, they'd have erupted, yeah. She goes again. Hacker trying to get those hips through. Yofasano with one Shido now. With 13 seconds remaining. Now, what's changed tactically here is that Yofasano has really allowed that right hand to come over the collar or around the side, which um, slows her down considerably. Just taking a breath there. Now we're into the golden score. Now this is going to test her condition. Dennis Stewart, the coach, just pointing out what Loretta was saying there about controlling that right hand. You can see him giving instructions to Lubiana, and he was talking about that. Kill that right hand. <laughs> and there she tries to control it, but... As she becomes a little bit tired, it's becoming much more difficult for her to try and control the speed of that arm as it comes over. But she's got the arm around the back. She's got a good positioning there. We know she's very powerful. She can really ride the hips when needed. But what we're hoping for is that she puts in the first attack and uh, maintains the positioning that she is where it comes to the Shidos. Drops the Anagi, lovely attack there. Oh, needs a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's gone yes. for me. Yeah. It was a continuation. Yeah. Beautifully executed. Well done. And a medal goes to Great Britain, Pia Fasana. She'll just be that, absolutely delighted with that. Just that little bit over-eager, Katharina Hecker. She started to put the pressure on. What she must have felt at that time was, I've rattled her, so I'm going to push a little bit harder. She just pushed that little bit too, too far and almost walked on to that Sernagi. Half a minute into golden score. Ljubljana Piavasana came up with the winning score. Thank you, she Thank said. You. Thank Very you. Light. Which is different from what someone said to Daniel Lasko, which was, thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit condescending that was, but uh, he never forgot that, apparently. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah. Happy times for Piavasana. And after a six-month layoff, it's right, nice to see return. a boost of yeah. confidence Good now. One. No, she didn't um, walk onto it. Actually, it was all Piervasana's work. Yeah, she she got herself in into there. a good position, mm -hmm. managed to push, and finished off well. But maybe it's just quite a bit funny. Open. You can hear the music at the back, and it's the Rolling Stones. I can't get. No satisfaction. Ah. Well, she got plenty of satisfaction on winning that match. Maybe they're playing it for Katharina. 